Good morning. Um, my name is Terry Francis, and I'm the Director of Perinatal Services. Again, like everyone's already mentioned, we're really honored that everybody's here and really happy about it. Um, I need to make one really big point. We're not baby friendly yet. Um, if you decide to go baby friendly, you'll see that you sign a big contract that says that you won't say you're baby friendly till you're baby friendly. Um, we have done a lot of work for baby friendly. We have a lot of work left to do. Um, we still have a lot of little pockets that we need to fix. Um, like all of you, we are committed to providing um, good care, really quality care to our community. Um, and that's why we decided about a year and a half ago to begin the baby friendly journey. I think the points I want to make are more birth center to birth center, um, lessons learned. Um, like Dr. Rost mentioned, you have to go to your administration first. You have to show them the data. You have to tell them why is it that you want to become baby friendly. Um, and prove it to them because administration wants data. They want to know what, why are you committing this amount of educational hours to your staff and this amount of a time commitment for everybody involved. Um, we are very lucky here at Shady Grove. We have a very, very supportive administration who has been with us since day one and continues to support this initiative. Um, secondly, you need a breastfeeding team. Um, like Dr. Rust also said, this is not about one person. This is about a team. And we have an unbelievable strong team. On your team, you want all of your lactation um, consultants on, your clinical nurse manager, your educational specialists, um, any staff that are interested. You need materials management. You need the director of materials management. If you go the baby friendly way, you no longer get free formula. You're going to pay for all of your breastfeeding supplies and all your formula. So you really need that commitment from them. And then, of course, your marketing team. Our marketing team always knows exactly where we are. Um, you have to have physician champions. Um, that's probably the most challenging, I will tell you, is physicians. Um, pushing them to, to take their education because baby friendly is really about consistent breastfeeding education. The same education out in the community, the same education from the moment they walk into their physician's office, discharge, and then your community support groups. Everybody needs to be teaching evidence-based practice and the same information. So you need really supportive champions. Um, number one cheerleader, Dr. Rost, he's our number one. Um, Dr. Tran, I don't know if she's here, there she is. She is our chief um, of obstetrics. Dr. Bawa, I don't know if she's here today, um, but she's another one of our champions. She is the chief of pediatrics. Um, and then of course, you need your lactation consultants. Um, you can't do this without them. They are your clinical experts. You have to have as many as they'll give you. <laughs> um, and then you need a cooperative staff. You have to, I mean, this is a lot. Um, for those of you from other hospitals know what it's like to walk into your nursing staff and say, guess what? You have 20 hours of education. Yay. Um, you better have your armor on. Um, but our staff have been phenomenal. They have really stepped up to the plate. It's a culture change. Every single thing Every single way that you take care of patients is changed. Every way that you're providing care is different than how it was before you put these 10 steps into practice. So um, our staff really, really have stepped up to the plate. And it's, it's kind of like putting in an electronic documentation system. You've all known what that's been like. In fact, we did it at the same time. Um, but it really is a total different culture. Um, one last point I'd like to make um, in our journey for Baby Friendly. Um, one thing that we did find is that hospitals that are Baby Friendly on the listserv aren't really willing to share the big stuff. They'll answer your questions, they'll give you little hints, um, but when we went and we began this journey, we put out there, anybody willing to share your policy, anybody willing to share your work plan, nobody was. So. If it really is about the patient and it's not about the designation, I just want to let everybody know here at Shady Grove, we're happy to help. So please contact us. We're happy to share what we've done. We did have to reinvent the wheel, so it's taking us a long time, but we would really like to share because it is about the patient. Thanks.